So what do we have here? Well, we've got the, the, the bones, the human remains, and a series of artifacts from a single grave that was found a few weeks ago on the university site. The university sits within both a scheduled ancient monument and a world heritage site. And so whenever any building work is being done, new drains are being put in, then they have to get archaeologists in to come in and, and, and dig the area first. Canterbury Archaeological Trust were brought in to do an excavation and this is what we found, this great. So what remains of the skeleton? Unfortunately not a lot and that's mainly due to the soil conditions. What we do have are the leg bones, we've got two foot bones and ankle bones, we've also got part of the cranium and the teeth and from some tooth wear analysis we're estimating this individual could potentially be in their 20s, so an early adult. Unfortunately the two key areas you would hope to be here to be able to work out biological sex, so the skull and the pelvis, are not present. These gravers indicate that this person was buried in a woman's costume. So we've got this fabulous garnet inlaid silver gilt brooch. We've got a necklace of glass and amber beads. And we've got a copper alloy bracelet. So all of those objects are strongly associated in Anglo early Anglo-Saxon costume with women. Is there any specific significance you can place on the brooch? The brooch is certainly the most significant object in here. So it's uh, silver, it's inlaid with these garnets. It would have been made in Kent, but the materials it's made from do not occur in Kent, apart from the iron pin. In particular, the garnets, these red gemstones, uh, come from Sri Lanka. So do the grave goods tell us anything about class then? If you're buried with a brooch like that, that is, a, that is a high status object. I think they're probably distributed as gifts by the Kentish kings to people that are in favour with them. So how closely can we date this grave? Everything in this grave points towards the last two decades of the 6th century, so between about 580 to 600 AD, just a shade over, a shade over 1400 years ago. So spotlight on you now, Tom. How do you feel about studying on a World Heritage site so close to finds such as these? The fact that this was found on campus, and I've probably walked over campus you know, hundreds of times, it just tells you that there's probably so much more to find in this area. 